What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report. And the topic of today's video is that the Brett the Geist experiment is over for the Texas Rangers. The Texas Rangers drafted Brett the Geist with the second overall pick in the 2020 Rule 5 draft. And it was obvious that Brett the Geist wasn't ready for the major leagues. Um, he hasn't played above single A and the Dodgers organization. Um, but it was thought that he could be a solid bullpen option at the major league level. However, now that we have designated Brett the guys for assignment, um, he's going through waivers so another team could claim him or um, if no team claims him, we have to offer him back to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, so we'll just see what happens. But yeah, he obviously wasn't ready and it's kind of unfortunate to see because I thought he was going to be solid. Um, he pitched well in spring training, but if you look at all the past draft results from the Rule 5 draft, if you want to take a player and develop him, your best shot is drafting a position player um, because that has proven to be the best way to actually develop a guy and keep him at the major league level. And that... And whenever the Rangers drafted the line of the Shields, he proved to be a everyday player. Obviously, he's not anymore. But the one guy that the Rangers might be kicking for not taking this year was Akil Badu. He might even be an all-star this year. He's only 22 years old, and he's raking for the Detroit Tigers. But, I mean, the Rangers can't kick themselves too much on this because it was only um, the Rule 5 draft. Um, Akil Badu was also a player that hasn't played above single a ball i mean it was a weird year for baseball with no minor leagues um it was hard to evaluate talent um but could you imagine our outfield right now with joey gallo akil badu and um adolis garcia and even eli white he's been playing pretty well since he's been called up and uh, so since we designated uh brett the guys for assignment that cleared a 40-man spot and that brought up Joe Barlow, the hard-throwing right-handed pitcher. This guy has been um, unprotected from the Rule 5 draft for quite some time. And he's finally put on the 40-man roster. Um, the big thing with him is that he has a hard time finding the strike zone. But this year so far in AAA, um, he's put up great stats. He has a great ERA, a great whip, a great strike out to walk ratio. So we'll see what he can do this year at the major league level. And I was just watching the, his first game because I'm posting this video a little bit later and he looked dominant. Obviously, um, this was just his first game and his first appearance versus the Oakland Athletics bottom of the order, but he has some wipeout stuff. He has um, a good fastball. He has a slider, a curveball. And he just added that slider and that might be an X factor pitch for him. So we'll just have to see how Barlow does. The Rangers also sent down to Marcus Evans because he um, has had a hard time finding the strike zone. He's another guy um, that we have uh, high hopes for because we think that he can be a solid guy at the back of the bullpen whenever we are competing again. And so we brought up Wes Benjamin. Benjamin has been disappointing. Um, I thought he could be maybe a fifth guy in the starting rotation for us, um, but he has not been that guy. He's been one of those guys where um, if we need somebody at the major league level, we call him up and then we'll send him down um, a day later or something. And he might even be sent down whenever David Dahl needs a roster spot. That's the news. Um, Brett, the guy is out of the organization. We'll see if another team claims him or if the Dodgers um, we'll just get him back and taking Brett the guy's 40 man spot the Rangers purchased Joe Barlow's contract and so he's in the major leagues now and then Demarcus Evans was sent down and Wes Benjamin got called up so that is the news for the Texas Rangers and another interesting news is that they're going to try John King out as a starter I think that would be interesting I wonder who spot he'll take in the rotation um if it will be Fulton Edwidge or Jordan Lyles, maybe even Dane Dunning, because all three of those guys have had um, solid outings this year, and they've also had really bad outings. So we'll see. He's definitely not going to take Kyle Gibson, and he's not going to take Colby Allers, or maybe they're planning ahead for the future when 
uh, after they trade Kyle Gibson because let's be honest, that's most likely going to happen. So that's all for today's video. Uh, thanks for staying to the very end. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel because I'm your number one source for all things Rangers on YouTube. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.